Each year, we mull over nominations, and this year, the perfect choice for us is Karen Shogren. Karen Shogren was this year's honoree at the Goals for Hope soccer tournament this past weekend. I am, and I don't know why. I just, I feel so blessed with everything that has happened in my life, and I, I, I'm still surprised that they wanted me to be the honoree. I, 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 I'm so humbled by the honor, and I just hope that um, by speaking about my experience a little bit, that other people who might be in the same situation can find a little comfort and, uh, or uh, a new a way of looking me. at things and um, get, get through a, a trying time medically and move on. Women are tough and when we come out here and play we bond together through that toughness. Sometimes when life gets tough you need your family, you need your community, you need your friends to support you. When were you diagnosed? It was the August of 2009. It was about two or three weeks after I had participated in Goals for Hope. I refed some games. Several weeks later, I was diagnosed. Were there symptoms or were you just surprised by the diagnosis? I noticed that I had a lack of energy. I just wanted to sleep. I couldn't get up out of bed until after 10 o'clock every morning during the summer which I thought was great because, you know, being a teacher in summer is off, you just want to relax, but I just couldn't drag myself out of bed. So between the lump, the lethargy, I just figured might as well get it checked out. Share some of it with our viewers who, uh, who, who also don't know what to expect. What, what are some of the things that you could tell them? Well, you're gonna go through a lot of testing and I s encourage anybody who does that to always have uh, a close friend or a family member accompany you and be your support because when there are so many medical terms be flying around your head it just feels like there's too much to comprehend so my sister I am so lucky Sue DeMann she is just my angel on earth and she's uh, an RN so she understands a lot, but she also researches what she didn't understand and put everything in terms that I could understand. So make sure you have somebody trusted come with you, take notes, ask questions, take advantage of every test that's available to you. Karen's story is not unlike many others, but her tenacity, her deep faith, and her sense of humor have helped make the journey a little easier. Delicious, good. Just, you have to go on with your life. There are things that you're restricted from doing. What killed me the most was probably not being able to eat fresh fruits and vegetables uh, because of the fear of getting some kind of bacterial infection from them. I had to give up my fresh salsa, which I love. But you know, just living your life as best you can and continuing on. <laughs> my friend Amy Riley laughed at me because there was a referee who asked during our, one of our women's game, that player with the mask, because I was still playing soccer at the net in the evening. The referee said, is she contagious? And of course, my snarky friends replied, not if you can catch breast cancer. How are you feeling right now? I feel sweaty. <laughs> I was just doing the boating for the day camp. It's nice to be in the shade. I feel fine.